Running wires is a pain. Wiring is going to be different for every rig depending on how it's set up, where your wires are run. Just got to kind of follow the wires and see where they go. So hopefully I'll, you know, showing you what I did will give you some ideas on what might work for you. I'll put a link in the description below as to how I got access to this opening. So I'm using 12 gauge wire, make sure that I can run enough power through the distance I need to run it. And roll enough of this stuff, make sure I can have enough. I should be able to have some of it up right here. Give myself a little extra and run the other end down. The rest of these wires made the red one longer than the black. Should be able to find a ground sooner. Let's start by this that already exists. And this stuff is still pretty curly. It wants to curl itself up. Boy, that's annoying. I gotta avoid the hot coils. So when running wires, you pretty much just want to find wires that are already run and see if you can follow them all the way up there. And I put some zip ties around them to try and keep them in place. Next thing to do is fish them down through there. I'm going to use a long wire and we're going to go up from the bottom because I want to pull these wires through. I have to run this up to hook onto them and then pull them through. Some people like call it fishing line. Need something stiff enough and strong enough that I can push it up. So here's the wire conduits. When I look in here, I can see familiar wires that I saw going up. But they're a little back from where, where that was. It's not a straight shot. It's going a little easier than I thought. Hopefully I'm getting to where I need to go and not off to some other weird location. So we'll see if we made it there yet or not. No joy. I think I'm gonna have to open this up and figure out what's in there. It's all about pulling things apart, making sure you can put them back together. So that didn't help at all, one bit, because there's really nothing there to access anything with. So the wire that I'm trying to fish ended up behind here. So there's where the wires come through, and then they slide along the side here over to there. That's where I need to get to next. And this is the other side of that heater. See if that did it. Eureka! We are through. Get these cables all straightened out so they don't twist up on me while I'm trying to put them in there. Make sure I wrap this up good and tight. Doesn't snag, doesn't come loose. Pull it back through. It's a lot easier when you have a second pair of hands. Help you out on the other end. It's kind of twisted up. So the black one's done, so now we just gotta pull the red one. Yeah. They're both in? Yes, they're both in. All right. They're not twisted up anymore. Good, thank you. Now <laughs> they it oh, up right there. Yeah. So we to pulled them through and now I'm gonna zip tie them on here to make sure they don't touch this thing right here. Because this thing gets hot. We don't want them to melt. We get all these wires around these ports here. Looks like I need to fix that. You gotta be careful when you're doing this, you don't wanna break anything. One section at a time, it's a lot easier. Try to pull all the way through everything and ripping things apart. I'm gonna start pulling it from the other side. Make sure these don't get wrinkled up while I pull it through. Yep. Okay, untangle it. Black is gonna ground right here. The red's gotta go back that way. And you're gonna zip tie them? Zip tie around this other zip tie that's down here. So it doesn't move around and get touched by things that are hot. You know, every time we drive this thing down the road, it's like a little earthquake going on and everything gets bounced around. Do zip ties always work on everything? As long as you can loop it around something. Weatherproofing repair tape. Put it over this way. It's back in here so it doesn't stick to everything. Flamble. Under pressure. Pretty sure that's off. Screw this on, pop this out so it turns green, aim and squeeze. Some messy stuff. Time 
put it all back together so we line up the holes and them back right where it was put them in a little bit loose at first and then once you get them all lined up and in snug them down i don't want to do it too tight and strip them out and it has gotten quite windy process all the way down. Back to the other side. Snag on a twist up. So we're getting close. A lot of wires up here. That's where we gotta go up and under the bed. Every time I lift this up, I get splinters in my hand. Here. Magnum Dimensions Pure Sine Wave Inverter, 120 volt, 12 volt that I'm going to plug that wire into, automatic transfer relay, wiring box, battery charging. Shouldn't need too much of this. Down through this conduit. Come on. Go through. Right. Now we got to go back underneath the vehicle. And there's the wire coming through. through and go back down underneath make sure it's not kinked up. Hopefully that'll keep it from loose debris off the road from smacking into it and breaking it. So around this wire down underneath everything because it's going to be down at the bottom. Which makes it hard to trim it off here but it'll make Keep the wiring a little neater. Nice and tight. And plug it in. Now I'm going to pull a little electrical tape around this loom here so this stays in it. This fuse in there. Look at that. I remember when you're screwing these things all back in, you want to do them loose. Make sure they all fit in, into place before you tighten them all down. And you probably want to work your way from one side to the other, or from the middle out, so that you don't bow up the middle. And don't tighten them too much, you don't want to strip them. If you found that useful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I'll have more uh, how to's and to do's and ventures and stuff coming up. And remember, have fun out there. Why else would you go on an adventure than to have fun? Stop! Don't like rust. Hide the rust. I'm using 12 gauge wire and make sure I can... What? Okay. I'm coming down in a little bit, okay? Yeah, you can keep that. Wind my fishing line back up. It's not for fish though. It's for wires. Do you need something? I just want to know what you're doing. I'm wiring. And I'm videoing it. Why are you videoing it? So I can make a video of it. Why do you want to make a video? Because my most popular videos tend to be how to videos. Oh. Back to our regular scheduled program. Why is that not recording? Did I turn it off already? Plan B. I don't have a plan B. You want to make sure those wires aren't twisting up? What am I watching you for? Twisting up wires? Oh, they're twisting up. You straighten them out? Which ones are you pulling? The bottom ones or the top ones? The bottom ones. A screwdriver. What do I do with my screwdriver? gray tank maybe and that's the black tank back there maybe I don't know that's the fuel tank and then over on me it's two 
Too flimsy. Overused it. Trim it off a little bit. Straight on through to the other side. I mentioned it's really windy right now. I'm guessing when they ran these wires originally, there wasn't so much stuff in the way. Oops. Alright, easy to do. <laughs> you need two hands. I've cut that a bit short. 